You're watching EAC News. Thank you for joining us. The government has decided to provide 4 million real, or about $1,000 per month, to the political parties represented on the Supreme Consultative Council, or SCC, for work expenses, in addition to their salary. Head of the SCC Secretariat, Chum Pao Baron, said that the money will facilitate the members' work so that they can provide important input for the government. This morning, Prime Minister Hun Manet presided over his first meeting of the SEC at the Peace Palace for about four hours. Speaking at a press conference that afternoon, Chung Pao Baron said that during the meeting, the Prime Minister highlighted the importance of democracy outside Parliament to better assist the new administration. He said that the SEC is not a political competition, rather it is a space for ideas to improve the effectiveness of the first phase of the government's Pentagon strategy. He said that from the new mandate, each party of the SCC will receive 4 million real, or about $1,000 per month, without oversight of spending. He said that their achievements would be highlighted through self-reporting, which should include suggestions that they have from their experience in the field. The Supreme Consultative Council was established by former Prime Minister Hun Sen in 2018, after his party swept the election and won all seats in the National Assembly and the Senate. He created the council as a means to give a voice to Cambodia's other parties, yet it has faced criticism for being ineffective in the past. Chum Pao Barun, however, said that in the previous administration, the SCC did a lot of work studying people's problems, especially in land disputes. He said that the council had submitted a report to former Prime Minister Hun Sen for review. At present, the members of the Supreme Consultative Council have 27 member parties, each with six delegates, receiving the same salary as government officials. Notably absent from the council is the main opposition Candlelight Party, who was denied permission to participate in the election this year. According to Chum Pao Varun, however, the SCC still welcomes other political parties that wish to join. Responding to criticism that the SCC is a waste of national budget, the head of the SCC said that people have the right to criticize, but that they do not understand the value of the SCC's work, and said that the consensus to build the nation and unite the people is important. <laughs> ហើយផលប្រយោជន៍ការណាចរណ្ណនយោបាយខុសៗគ្នាចូលរួមផ្ដល់នៅធាតុចូលអានឹងហើយបង្រួមបង្រួមជាតិនិងការរួមចំណែ